Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jimmy Landry. I'm the Artist Relations Manager for Cakewalk and I am here today in Los Angeles, California with an amazing producer, songwriter, mixing engineer, all in one guy. He's Paul Oakenfold's uh, main writer, main engineer, TC, what? aka Spitfire. Uh, Thanks what's for going having on? me, man. I appreciate it. I just it. noticed we are dressed the same. <laughs> oh, man. This is the LA Hollywood look. That's not you blend good. Blend in good. That's not good. So uh, we're just here on location here and um, going to be talking to TC a little bit about uh, what he's been doing on X1. He's been up on X1 for a little while now. He's been working with a bunch of different artists. Why don't you tell everyone who you've been working with? You've been doing some remixes for Usher. You've been doing... Yep. Uh, who else has been through here working with you guys? Well, we get sent a lot of vocals and also people come in here and record vocals. We've been doing a lot of work on Openfold's album too. So we have artists like B.O.B. He came in. He sends us a lot of files. We try to give him kind of an urban dance trance feel to a lot of his songs. Cool. We're trying. We got Chris Brown. We're working with Lloyd. We're working with Eve. A lot of a lot of urban artists want to go dance or add a lot of dance elements to what they're doing. Right. And Oakenfold kind of is the godfather of that sound. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. So hopefully next year will be the uh, the year of Oakenfold. How's this record coming together? You've just got different artists that are coming to the table and bringing tracks, or is it something where you guys are just directing what's going on with it? A lot of the times we send them tracks that me and Paul do, just right. instrumentals. Paul goes out and he plays them in the club to make sure they work in the club, because if they don't work already, there's no point putting vocals on them. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we, they're road tested for about five or six months, and then he sends them to the artist. Or, and then they either want to record here or they just record it with their engineer and send it. So you've been on X1 now. I watched you, I've been watching you work a little bit today with uh, with, with some of the tracks and it looks like uh, you're, you're moving, from what we even talked about earlier, it's helping you out in terms of how your, you know, your screen, screen sets are, are a big plus for you. Like what are some of the things that you're really digging about X1 that are helping you to, to get through your stuff quicker and faster, more efficiently. What I like is that everything is collapsible. Everything can be moved around really easily. Usually it would take me, you know, whatever, 20, 30 seconds. I have to position everything the way I like it, then edit, then move stuff around. 20, 30 seconds doesn't sound like a lot of time, but when you're trying to be inspired and create music, that's like a lifetime, you know right. what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you miss the moment. Definitely. But with Everything being able to be moved wherever you want it with the, the skylight, new kind of DAW interface. It's, it's really easy to just keep working and keep working and not lose your inspiration. I noticed too, you're able to go through your loops way faster and all, yep. uh, you know, as a writer, that's a huge deal because of the the inspiration. I saw you grabbing stuff out of there and dragging and dropping it right to, to the tracks and all that's that right. good stuff. That's got to be pretty big for you. Huge, huge, huge advancement. And uh, including a, you know, a pro compressor on each track makes it so much easier to get to the final mix and get everything sounding professional. What are the uh, what are some of the stuff that, that's coming up in the near future besides Paul's record? Are you working on other stuff as well? I mean, I know you're constantly writing, but anything else yep. that you have in the works? There's always a lot of movie projects we do. I mean, this year we did uh, a lot of cues for G-Force. We did a, basically a lot of the end and title credits for uh, this movie called Nobel Sun. A lot of foreign movies we do. We did, we did a whole song for Home for the Holidays. There's, there's just a lot of different movie projects that come in. I'm able to import the video, create the song around it right. you know, in X1. Yep. You can watch the whole scene. You can insert markers on the fly. Yeah, that's huge too. To all the different, you know, they, they usually the director or whoever, the music supervisor sends you notes on where they want drastic changes to happen. Right. So you can just open your markers dialogue and you can type in the exact time that they already tell you they want the big change. Definitely. And that, that helps a lot. And then I can export it. A lot of the times they just want the music exported, not even with the video. Right. And they just import it into whatever platform they're using. So uh, I know you're busy 
all the time. You're in the trenches. You're, you're, you're not a, a guy that's in the forums. You're not all over the place doing stuff because you don't have time because you're here. Um, do you have stuff on the internet that people can actually check out? Do you have anything up there yet, or are you going to be getting anything where people can actually find out what's going on with you? Mainly, mainly I've had to take a break on my personal music career. Right. I mean, I always have my MySpace, which is MySpace Spitfire Grooves is the URL. Oh, cool. But I'm extremely invested in making Openfold's new album the greatest dance album ever. Right. Or at least the top ten. Right, right. And, uh helping new artists branch out you know what i mean i'm i'm happy with being in the product in the production kind of engineering mixing songwriting sure. mode